A few months ago, I made a video asking if Planet Nine exists, why haven't we found it yet? Since then, two new discoveries have brought the search for this planet front and centre once again. One might be a glimpse of a giant planet in trans-Neptunian orbit, the other could destroy the Planet Nine theory altogether. Let's start then with the one that hit the headlines first. Distant objects are notoriously difficult to spot. They're dark and move across the heavens at glacial speeds. It's not that they aren't moving, but rather that they're so far away that even across weeks or months, their apparent position barely seems to change. For example, the dwarf planet Sedna, orbiting hundreds of times farther out from the Sun than Earth, takes 11,400 years to complete a single orbit. From our vantage point, this immense distance makes it look almost frozen in place. Its motion over short periods is so subtle, it's nearly impossible to detect. Now that brings us to satellite images taken by NASA's IRIS mission in 1983, when over a 10-month period it completed the first ever sky survey in infrared. Too short a window to detect the slow drift of any distant objects. But recently, astronomers re-examined that old data, this time comparing it with the second infrared survey taken in 2006 by Japan's Akari satellite, and giving us a 23-year window for objects to have moved. And they found something. A faint object appearing in both sets of images shifted ever so slightly. But what really got scientists talking was its infrared signature. This helps estimate an object's size and mass, and it suggested this object wasn't insignificant, and could be enormous, possibly as massive as Saturn. Naturally, one question floated to the surface. Could it be Planet Nine? When scientists traced this object's path through space, something immediately stood out. Its orbit was off not just eccentric or distant, but tilted nearly 90 degrees to the plane of the solar system. Planet Nine, according to the models, should follow a stretched elliptical path with an inclination of 15 to 25 degrees. This orbit, by contrast, was almost perpendicular. Then came the distance. Based on its apparent motion, the object could be thousands of AU from the Sun, possibly brushing up against the inner edge of the Oort cloud. Well, that's far beyond the range most Planet Nine models predict. And finally, the object's motion and projected mass didn't match the gravitational fingerprint we'd expect from Planet Nine. Specifically, the alignment patterns in the Kuiper Belt that led scientists to propose the theory in the first place. This object simply couldn't produce them. In other words, it failed every test, with Mike Brown, the astronomer behind the Planet Nine hypothesis, giving the final word. It's 100% not Planet Nine. But if it's not Planet Nine, then what is it? Some think it could be a rogue planet captured from another star system in the early days of the solar system. Others suggest it might be one of our own, an ejected planet flung into the distant dark by past gravitational chaos. Either way, once and if this object is confirmed, it may be the most distant giant in the solar system. But surprisingly, this isn't the only twist in our search for Planet Nine. Over billions of years, the solar system has settled into a delicate gravitational balance. The planets have found their places, their orbit shaped and reshaped over unimaginable spans of time. From the hot inner worlds to the icy outer reaches, Nearly every object we know has been influenced by this long history. Its paths tugged, tilted or reshaped by planetary forces. So when astronomers announced the discovery of a new dwarf planet candidate in May 2025, an object named 2017 OF201, it seemed at first to be just another piece of that grand pattern. It travels far beyond Neptune, with an orbit that reaches 250 AU at its farthest point, in the cold and distant reaches of the solar system. And at first glance, it fits, an object in deep space quietly following a stable orbit with a relatively moderate inclination, 
not one of those unusually tilted paths that often point to past gravitational encounters. In fact, orbital simulations suggest it has remained undisturbed for around 100 million years. Long-term orbital stability is rare out in the Kuiper Belt. Most orbits in this region evolve, get perturbed or drift. But this one looks like it's been steady, and that's where the mystery begins. According to current models, Planet Nine, if it exists, should have influenced this world by now. Its gravitational pull over tens or even hundreds of millions of years should subtly alter the orbits of distant objects in this region, drawing them into the odd alignments that first tip scientists off to Planet Nine's possible existence. And yet, this world has remained untouched. That raised the fundamental question, should this object even be here if Planet Nine is real? When the Planet Nine hypothesis was first proposed, there were doubts. Some astronomers thought the orbital clustering could be a statistical fluke, or the result of observational bias. But over time, more and more distant objects were discovered, each reinforcing the strange alignments predicted by the theory. That's what makes 2017 OF201 so significant. It's the first object that seems to defy that pattern. So what could explain it? Some researchers suggest it may not have started out here at all. Perhaps it is a recent arrival, a visitor from a different region of the solar system, or even from beyond it. One possibility is that it was captured by the sun's gravity long after the solar system had formed, slipping into its current orbit after a gravitational encounter. Another idea is that its path was disturbed by a passing star an event that could have tugged it into this unusual trajectory just tens of millions of years ago. If that's the case, it would explain why Planet Nine hasn't left its mark. The planet simply hasn't had enough time to sculpt this object's orbit yet. But not everyone agrees that this orbit tells us much. Constantine Batagin, one of the original Planet Nine theorists, has pointed out that the orbit appears chaotic, which makes its relevance to the theory uncertain. Even so, the question still lingers. If Planet Nine is real, why hasn't this object fallen in line? So it seems there may be another giant planet out there, just not the one we imagined, and we may be witnessing the unravelling of the Planet Nine theory altogether. Which is ironic really, because the astronomer who helped define the Planet Nine hypothesis is the same one who helped demote Pluto to a dwarf planet and in a final twist it could be a dwarf planet that brings Planet Nine down.